What's up, Fearless Nation? This is Stacy Dash, and if you're into heavyweight boxing, then you have to check out Jay's Theory. He covers everything inside the ring and outside the ring, completely unbiased. So subscribe today. Peace. You big dossers! <laughs> First off, anybody that paid for this fight, you know you got your money's worth and then some. Instant classic. Instant classic. Whoa. <laughs> oh my goodness. Talk about back and forth action. Oh my goodness gracious. What a fight. What did you guys think? I picked Tyson Fury to knock Deontay out in the fifth. I was off by six rounds. Um, you know, my uh, my internet connection went out, like, right, I think it was the third round. I came back to the, uh, I came back to the fight, and it looked like um, Wilder had gone down, so I was like, oh, yeah, it picks this time to go out. So I missed Wilder getting knocked down, saw the replay later. When I came back, it looked like um, Wilder was putting it on Fury. Fury got knocked down twice, spoiler alert. Oh, my goodness. I noticed though Wilder came out, you know, he was trying to show he was different. You know, he learned something different, came out through a whole bunch of jabs to uh, Fury's body. I didn't think Fury was affected. Like I said, he's got a thick middle. So to me, it's kind of like wasting energy, but I thought he was setting uh, Fury up for something. I thought he was going to go down to the body and then come up to the head, you know, look down to the body, that old trick. And, but, um, whoa. <laughs> I need a shower after watching that fight. I'm up swinging at the screen. It looked to me like uh, Fury could have ended it a long time ago. I noticed every time Wilder, even in the early rounds, still seemed like his legs weren't there. He would throw a punch and be immediately off balance. And like I've said before, that's one of the first things the great Emmanuel Stewart worked on with Lennox Lewis was his balance. You got to keep your balance once you throw a punch, and especially if you miss a punch so you're back in place or else it'll just take a little bit of a shot and, you know, knock you off balance. You may even get knocked down because you're off balance from your own punch. But, man, back and forth action. It looked like Wilder was going to go down several times. Fury's an interesting guy. It seemed like uh, the shot that um, really hit, hit him hard from Wilder on the top of the head, kind of like with Luis Ortiz, he fell down and it seemed like he wasn't that hurt, but he's a, he's a veteran enough to know he collected himself when he was down, you know. He didn't just try to get up too fast. He stayed down there and got up. I don't want to hear any of you Wilder fanboys talk about, all oh, the rough counted slower. I mean, he was counting and his count wasn't right, so that's why Fury won the fight. It should have been, oh, no, stop. Don't even start with that. Don't want to hear no glove gate 2.0. Don't want to hear anything about the ref's count. The ref was actually seeming like he was favoring uh, Deontay. You know, I'd see Deontay clinch when he was hurt. The ref just let it go. The minute uh, Fury did something, he's warning him or something. Looked like he even went to the corner and was warning Fury in the corner. But um, Malik Scott was trying to inspire Deontay. And uh, both guys showed great heart. Neither man um, showed, uh, they both showed that they both have heart. You know, it's just one guy's skills on a different level. Both guys have heart. Um, I hope you guys realize the two champions are believers in the most high. Alexander Usyk or Usyk and Tyson Fury. What does that tell you? Anyway, um, yeah. You got you to gotta acknowledge that. Tyson Fury sang his classic song at the end of the fight. I mean, it was just back and forth. And um, it looked like Wilder was on out on his feet for several rounds. It seemed like, uh, you know, <laughs> it seemed like Andre Ward was kind of favoring uh, Deontay. I noticed, like, when Wilder, when Fury would do something, he would be kind of quiet. The minute uh, Deontay would do something, he'd say something like, he even said at one point it looked like Deontay had more energy than Tyson Fury. I'm like, what fight are you watching, Andre? And then even when they showed the end of the fight when Lennox Lewis and Brian Kenny are jumping up, 
when Tyson Fury knocked out Wilder, you see Andre Ward just sitting there like this. Like he's thinking, oh, word, for real. <laughs> Even Brian Kenny was like, it was so, he's like, well, I'm not the uh, cheering kind of guy. I was jumping up and down on the inside. I'm like, yeah. come on, Andre. <laughs> Caught you being a little biased with Anthony Joshua. Now you look a little suspect with Deontay. It's, I mean, if you're rooting for him, you're rooting for him. I was rooting for Tyson Fury, and I told you he'd pull it out. So all you fanboys out there, go back to the drawing board. Find another fighter where you can come up with crazy uh, ideas about how, you know, whatever. Anyway, this is Tyson Fury's night, and um, I don't know if the weight that Deontay was holding the 238, he looked solid. He definitely looked solid. He looked the part. I don't know if the weight was bothering him, but I just noticed from the beginning his legs were bothering him. And uh, Tyson Fury was trying to get into Deontay's mind right at the beginning of the fight. He's calling him. He's calling him names and stuff. Even at the stare down at the middle, he's calling him names. And I said to myself, Tyson Fury looks a little. Uh, not Tyson Fury. Deontay looks a little nervous. He still had to come into the ring wearing a uh, mask. Uh, he didn't come in with too much of an outfit, more of a robe and a mask. Even Brian Kenny was like, before the fight, man, just come into the ring, you know. Come in in a loincloth or something. I'm thinking, whatever, just get in the ring, leave the mask, just stop. Stop. But uh, Tyson Fury comes into the ring, and he's ready to go. Um... At 277, he seemed to be the more energetic of the two. Deontay Wilder is having a problem with his legs. I don't know if he's having some type of Achilles problem or knee problem. I'm not sure, but something's going on with his legs. And he's got to have a trainer to come in and, you know, not work so much of the combos. Because I didn't, all those combos we saw Deontay putting on Instagram, I didn't see him throw any of those combos. Um... He was just fighting off sheer determination to me. And it's like I said, the minute he got hit, he started going on kind of right hand happy. He snuck in a couple uppercuts as well as Tyson Fury, but he's he just constantly he you can see him pushing his glove in, like trying to make the knuckles come up, and he's he loads it and you see him getting ready to throw it nearly every time. And Tyson still got caught with it, but it's like once he felt his powers, like he adapted. He even put his hands down at one point. But this kind of looked like a continuation of the last fight with some dangerous moments in there look like for uh, Fury. But Fury's, um, they showed, the announcers went back and showed nine years ago how Emmanuel Stewart talked about that Tyson Fury would be a champion. And he said, you got to be mentally tough. And he said, Tyson Fury is mentally tough. He said, Deontay Wilder was tough. He said, uh, you look out for these two. So, that's why Emmanuel Stewart was great. He picked this out nine years ago. And now they met three times. Uh, someone was saying at the end of the telecast, do you want to see it a fourth time? It was like, yeah, but it's done. I mean, we don't need to see it again. To me, Tyson Fury is 3-0 and in that, you know, in those matchups. And so far, Usyk and um, Tyson Fury are undefeated. Um... Tyson Fury just has that draw, which was really a win. Um, boy, uh, did you guys see the, what's his name? Uh, Hanali, Hellenius or something like that against Kowalski? Uh, I thought Kowalski was going to be like a top guy, but um, I think he's just taking too many punches early. I don't, I don't see. You guys thought Joe Joyce took a lot of punches. I mean... Dude, um, that dude, uh, Canal, uh, Hellenius, whatever, he was just came out hands down. It was just pow at will, throwing straight punches. And the only answer uh, Kanowski had was uh, blocking the punches with his chin, and that was ineffective. And he ended up getting disqualified. He, you know, he kept doing the low blow thing like Galata. I was like, no, not this again. But he was trying to, I guess, get a rest or whatever, but he got disqualified. So. I think Kanowski might, you know, I always say let a fighter fight if he wants to, but he might want to look at uh, a new line of work. He's just taking too many punches early on. 
And Jared Anderson looks definitely the part. He's 21 years old, went in there, handled his business, fought a big Russian, can't remember his name. But um, the Russian guy hadn't fought in two years, and Jared Anderson had been sparring with Tyson Fury. Very, very fast heavyweight at 240. Very fast. And I was thinking, I said, if Tyson Fury's been sparring with this guy, he's definitely ready for uh, Deontay Wilder. There was rumors that Jared Anderson had knocked down Tyson Fury in camp, but he denied it, I believe. He said it didn't happen or something like that. But Jared Anderson definitely looks like he's going to be a force if he can stay focused. Young guy, 21, lightning fast jabs, 10 fights, 10 knockouts. Look for him. Um, and uh, the FA Jagba fight kind of went the way I thought it would go. Frank Sanchez just outworked him. FA Jagba got knocked down at one point. <laughs> And uh, Frank Sanchez looked like he didn't know he was down and then hit him with an uppercut while he was down, kind of like in Creed 2. But um, Lennox Lewis and I didn't think he knew that he was taking a knee, you know, in the heat of the moment. And the Jag was so tall, you don't know if he's on a knee or ducking or not. So, you know, he's throwing his combo. But I thought, nah, don't get uh, that stirred up again. The last fight Frank Sanchez had... The fighter he was fighting tried to act like he got a legal shot, and but uh, F.A. Jagba took it like a man and stood up. But um, he just was too much for even F.A. Jagba's corner was swinging. He almost hit a Jagba, telling him, "Man, you got to swing. You had a great camp, like going there, and you know you got to fight." But he didn't know what to do. He was just following him around like this the whole fight. You know, like I don't know when to throw it. You know, Frank Sanchez caught him with some good shots. So a Jagba didn't appear to be that hurt when he got knocked down and even took that uppercut when he was on a knee. He didn't appear to be that hurt, but he was just getting out of work by Frank Sanchez. Sanchez is, you know, doing the Ali shuffle and playing around. So um, that was a great fight, too. That was the uh, co-main event. But uh, Tyson Fury is the real deal. I would say he and Usyk are the best heavyweights right now, you know. Um, I was saying Joshua over Fury, but only way I would say that now is if Joshua, he, he's just got to get rid of Rob McCracken. Tyson Fury is a whole lot to deal with. You got to have a guy to come in there and teach you something new at this point. So if he gets someone new in there that gels with him, um, it's possible he, gives, he can beat Tyson Fury, but it won't be easy. Tyson Fury, like I said, once he adapts and he feels your power, it's like he's like he even, like I said, he put his hands down for a while, like with Deontay, like, okay, I took your best shot. And I think that messes with Deontay every time, like, what well, I gotta hit this guy with. <laughs> but lots of back, lots of back and forth action and win eleven rounds. Tyson sung his song at the end. He was playing Sweet Home Alabama in the dressing room, laying back on a pillow. I think he was trying to get in Deontay's head because we know that Deontay is from Alabama. It was just a great fight. Um, I don't know why people were starting to pick Deontay to win. I'm like, what can he? Uh, what is he showing you in the first two fights to make you think that he's going to beat Tyson Fury? The first fight to me was a blowout. Um, he got knocked down twice in that fight, too, but he was winning every round, so it doesn't matter. Second fight was a blowout. This one was a little bit closer, even though there were certain points, like I said, Fury could have, he had pressed the issue. He could have just kept swinging, and the ref would have waved it off because Deontay didn't even have the energy to keep swinging. So, um, I don't know. Deontay can, um, I'm sure he's going to keep Malik Scott because he wasn't a, I wouldn't say Malik Scott, you know, didn't did any uh, gave him any real bad advice, but they just got to work on his balance. His balance is clearly bad, and he doesn't even know how to mask it when he's tired. He's just wobbling all over the place. So his ear was bleeding. Tyson Fury said at the end of the fight, I believe he was going to, um, you know, give Deontay some dap, and Deontay didn't want no part of it. So. You know, I hope he just says he lost his fight. Don't come up with any excuses. Nobody wants to hear that. We all watched the fight. I believe both of you were wearing the same type of glove with the horse hair and, uh, and the foam or whatever. So no excuses. 
And all you Wilder fanboys that like to talk junk, you guys look like uh, Tyson Fury says, you big dossers. Tyson Fury, the WBC heavyweight champion. Thanks for watching. Tell me what you thought. Please subscribe. Yay, yay. Oh, yeah. I wanted to mention, um, I knew when David Hay picked Deontay Wilder to win, <laughs> I told my mother, I said, uh, I said, well, that's a, that's a good sign because uh, when David Hay picks a, a guy to win, I was like, that usually means the other guy's going to win. So um, David Hay picked Deontay to win. So I said, oh, Fury got this. And so, yeah, it was a great night of boxing. Me and my son were cheering. My mom was cheering. We were praying. Prayers answered. Tyson Fury, the WBC champion. You better ask around.